Hello everyone and welcome back to Arma3. Today I'm going to show you very fast how to host a server with Zeus ability also and after how to create a very basic and easy task for your players. So we are going in multiplayer, server browser, host server. Here you can add how, wanna, how do you like to name. I'm going to put B7 from Bird7. How many players, password if you like. And if you are hosting or playing with somebody else, you have to have internet and UPnP activated. Host server. This is the UPnP is for the host side, so the other ones they don't really need it, I believe. They are just finding the server and getting in. Then I'm gonna choose Stratis for this and let's find a nice location for a test um, old outpost okay so what do you want to do first is make the spawn point for you and for your player base or friends I'm gonna be the survivor is this building openable? yeah so this is gonna be me and let's say I will take a rifleman three of them let's say I, it's gonna be for three players make sure they are not clipping in nowhere or stuff like this it's not nice looking okay make all of all of these playable like this and I will make myself also playable and I will put a variable name burn7 because I wanted um, only one person to be able to use the Zeus, the Game Master so I'm gonna show you how to do that you are going in system Zeus Game Master and here at the owner you are putting the name of whom do you wanna use it so it's gonna be burn7 I mean only this guy so th these guys they will not be able to use because they don't have the variable name if you want to be a bit more in-depth you can put a role description let's say fighter <laughs> because why not um, no infantry <laughs> like this and you will see when you are spawning this guy is gonna have the infantry name so your players will know better which one it's what this is gonna be Zeus I'm not using this one so also so I will not put that then go to the attributes multiplayer and here you are making the settings for the respawn go to the respawn respawn on constant position select respawn position a bit of delay I did this in my previous video also with Warlords tutorial. You can check it there. I'm not gonna revive mode if you wanna. I'm not gonna go very in depth in this. For medic, medikit, review duration, and yeah. Then what I wanna do is going in multiplayer and press and put one respawn position then I'm gonna put a name for the respawn position base it's gonna be infantry side is gonna be for blue 4 and show two sides and its ally allies or only blue 4 or depends how do you wanna do it then yeah go to play scenario choose you can see because I showed Zeus is gonna be this guy and this is infantry and I did not customize the other two so like this you can see what it's gonna be for what what position in your team then press ok I cannot see the map because I'm only a survivor I don't have the map but the players they will be able to if they have a map in the inventory ok it's a bit awkward that put me outside but oh yeah the spawn position it's here 
then I'm going in the Zeus mission and let's make a fast and easy example on how to do it. Let's say I want to clean, clear this building and let's make it easy and fast. Uh, looters. Pistol. One guy here. Oh, I did not meant to do that. Like this. Let's add one more here. Side. Okay, and the uh, boss rifle is gonna be here. Inside. So our mission is to kill this guy, our task. To do that, you can just simply speak with them, but to make it a bit more uh, to make it a bit more fancy, let's say, going to markers, not markers, uh, modules, objectives, and for example neutralize because I want to kill him. And I'm gonna make sure it's for blue four, because this is our side. And okay. And now you can see the task showed up for your players in real time and I cannot control those because they are players I'm gonna show you first how to do it you're just going simply kill him and it's gonna show up in the screen when it's completed so this is how you are making and you can see I can see the marker in over there right over there in real time and when I will kill him it's gonna disappear but it's not disappearing if I kill these guys it's still there this guy has a rifle so I'm gonna put on full auto on my gun and neutralized mission complete and if it's the final task also what you can do is scenario flow and scenario mission complete because I managed to kill him and yeah basically this is it so yeah if you liked please give a like subscribe and see you in the next one